Welcome everyone, Anas here. Today, I'm going to let everyone know how to unlock all Alchemy Research in Artificer. Alchemy Research is the backbone to create elixirs and bombs used throughout the game. It is highly suggested to unlock all survival research first as this will speed up our process significantly. Before we start, do hit the like button and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. To start unlocking alchemy research, first find the Thabit crew which has been turned to stone north of our crash site. Then report this back to Salazar at our base. This will unlock equivalent exchange. It allows us to craft alchemy cauldron, alchemy laboratory, alchemy reagents, and snakewood spirits. Then proceed to build the alchemy cauldron which we have previously obtained the recipe in equivalent exchange. We will be blowing up the cauldron in order to unlock the next research. Use charcoal to heat up the cauldron. Charcoal is made from two pieces of willwood log heated up in kiln. Proceed to add more than three items into the cauldron. The explosion will unlock the alchemical stability and purifying albedo research. Alchemical stability will allow us to craft Laudinum, which is going to help us unlock a few more researches. Purifying Albedo research will help us in creating Albedo and Quick Climb. Researching Alchemical stability also unlocks Volatile Vapors. This allows us to craft Bottled Inferno, Malathion, Mist of Dissolution, Arboreal Acid, Empty Bombshell, Inferno Bomb, Dissolution Bomb, and Arboreal Bomb. After that, proceed to build the Alchemical Laboratory, which we have previously obtained the recipe in Equivalent Exchange. The Alchemy Lab will be used to unlock most of the Alchemy research. Once built, ask Salazar about the progress on the Petrification Cure. This will unlock Wondrous Mithridite, allowing us to create a cure for the Petrification Curse. As we've built the alchemy lab, now we can start research using the alchemy lab itself. First of all, create laudinum from our alchemical stability research earlier on. For the first laudinum created, consume it first. This will be frame and drunk vision for around 5 minutes. And also unlock liquid clarity research. This allows us to craft potion of clarity which later will be used to gather nightshade. Next, proceed to research Laudinum at the Alchemy Lab to unlock Hermetical Mutators. Do keep in mind that we will need alchemical reagents and paper for each research. This allows us to craft Rokuron and Pyrethrin. Don't stop at researching Laudinum once only, as there is another research which can be unlocked. Proceed to research Laudinum three more times until we reach 100% completion. This will unlock Esoteric Optics. This will allow us to predict the effects of our actions while studying alchemy. Next, we will research Lodestone. Research Lodestone in the lab to unlock Magnetic Mysteries. This allows us to create the elixir of magnetism. Then, research charcoal to unlock combustible alchemicals. We would now be able to craft potion of warmth, anthracite, and nitre. Researching combustible alchemicals also unlocks frugal alchemy. This allows us to have 50% chance of producing two elixirs instead of just one. Next, research whaleworm shell in the alchemy lab. Whaleworm shell is obtained from a dissected whaleworm. This will allow us to craft sewer bouquet, whaleworm essence, and worm repellent. Next, research ocinan bones in the alchemy lab. Ocinan bones is obtained from a dissected ocinan. This will allow us to craft Elixir of Regrowth 
and potion of haste. Researching augmented regeneration also unlocks metabolic control. This allows us to craft deathly slumber potion and rod of stone. After that, we are going to find will root. This creature can be found in tree trunks in the forest. Once you defeat the will root, right click to research it. This will unlock Theric Mutagen, which allows us to craft Elixir of Clear Veins. The defeated will root will drop will root limb. Researching this at the Alchemy Lab unlocks Chimer Transmutations. This will allow us to craft Chimer Plate and Chimer Armor. Next, craft the Deathly Slumber Potion from our Metabolic Control research earlier on. Drinking this unlocks traumatic triggers. Do keep in mind that without armor, a lot of damage will be dealt to us during the slumber. Traumatic triggers allows us to craft blood vitriol. Lastly, craft pyrethrin from our hermetical mutators research earlier on. Researching pyrethrin at the alchemy lab will unlock sublime metamorphosis. This allows us to craft Hermetic Vase, Breath of the Goddess, Order of Omens, and Eld Whiff. With all of the alchemy research tree unlocked, now we should have access to craft all of the elixirs in the game. Thus, we should be able to start on Thaumaturgy research now. Thank you for watching, like and subscribe for more.